the LHC Run 3 is um, just starting up and it's coming after um, several years when we've been um, doing maintenance and improvements on the detectors. It is actually a, a, a new start, but also an upgraded start. We're uh, very much looking forward to the, f the physics opportunities to having um, high luminosities, which means we, we get a lot of data and uh, um, we'll be able to look at many of the things that we've, we've studied in the previous runs of the LHC. With respect to what we were doing previously in run two, we believe that we can improve our performance in select event at least by 20-30% at the level of the first selection. And you know that uh, the first selection, what we call the trigger, is important but because whatever we lose at that stage is lost forever. So improving there is fundamental. Which will give us some hints of um, you know, more information about what is the Higgs. We're hoping to get some um, hints of what is dark matter. And discovery might be everywhere. It's not only the hints uh, of new physics in the flavor sector, it could be hints of new physics somewhere else. Um, we've seen in, the, um, in our previous data some um, anomalies that we were sort of unexpected, sort of hints that there might be some new physics out there. We, we, we even compiled a list of those excesses. So we have really our, our to-do list uh, and trying to check all of them. But we've also um, are going to be doing uh, precision measurements. So some of the measurements that um, tell us a lot about the universe. One is what is the top quark mass? Um, what is the, the mass of the W boson? There's been an interesting result coming out of Fermilab. Higgs physics, we want to go really in the precision regime for the Higgs physics. Doubling the statistics, but especially with the new techniques, artificial intelligence-based technique, deep neural network, will help us uh, to go and, and in, a, in, a, in a precision that was unprecedented. Which requires understanding the systematics and understanding the detector in great detail. And, and that kind of analysis takes um, many, many years to actually understand how, how the detector works so that you can get the, um, the, the right calibration to measure the mass very precisely. So having a complete picture, measuring all the parameters of the standard model with a precision at this level, to me is almost as important as going and look for new theory because this will really guide our ways to what could be the new physics later on. So those, all those things we're hoping to get out of the, out of the run three data from, from, uh, from CMS and from the other um, collaborations. Mm -hmm.